Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Teresa here doing a video. Uh, today we're going to be doing part of the Pagoda, the five-piece one. Uh, today we're going to be doing this, and then uh, Wednesday we'll do the last three pieces. So you'll need five pieces of paper in total. You're also going to need a pair of scissors. Um, if you want, a pen of some sort to mark your line, and also a ruler of some type. So here I've got... Uh, grid form so it's a little easier to do but you can also use a standard little ruler um, and then on Friday we're gonna do the little tiger that I've got here and again it's two pieces so you're gonna need two pieces of paper as well as a pair of scissors and if you'd like to use a bit of glue just to make sure it doesn't come apart I would recommend glue as well so that's what we're gonna do today so today we're gonna do two pieces um, just because they do take a little bit of time to make and I'm just going to set everything aside for now except for one piece of paper because we don't need to cut it and I'll just put those aside for now so we've got our one piece here in whatever size you use I'm using this little guy and it's like a six six inch piece um, you can use bigger smaller whichever ones you have as long as you use the same five size pieces when we do the cuts it'll make it a little easier so first we're gonna fold it in half into a long rectangle and always making sure your lines are nice and matched up there all your corners and we're gonna do a nice tight crease and then we're gonna fold it in half into a little hamburger shell little square here just like that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and finger into the middle here and we're gonna open that mouth up nice and wide and we're gonna squish it down into a triangle so we're gonna match up all those lines so that everything is aligned and push down nice tight creases as usual and because I'm not using the tabletop um, I'm used doing this with my nails just gives an extra crease along there but you don't have to do that especially if you're using a table it's just that when I use the table the camera shakes a little bit also it's a little easier for you guys to see from up close to the camera so the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna flip this so that it goes folds the other direction just so that all we have is this nice easy to stand up right on its own and that just makes it so that both sides are nice and creased and we're gonna do this we're gonna put our finger in here nice easy into a triangle and what we want to do is make sure that these two t don't unfold and stay tucked in and we're gonna put all four of these little points together and again nice tight creases and we have our triangle so once we have our triangle we're gonna take this corner up here and we're gonna match it up with the top of the peak here and we're gonna make nice line everything's aligned and then we're gonna push down nice tight crease and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side so once we've got that we can flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing to this side so up to the corner make a nice tight crease and again on the other side and we should have a very small square so we're gonna do the same thing we just did with the big square we're gonna actually make it into a small square so all I'm doing is unfolding it and it automatically wants to unfold and I'm just pushing it down and lining up this tip with this corner here and making nice tight creases and it comes into a square so again with this triangle same thing and if it doesn't want to cooperate sometimes it doesn't want to just put your finger in there and open it up and then squish it down into a square and once we've got that we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so we've got our one triangle open it up and into a nice little square there and again on the other side and down into a triangle so at the end you should have four little squares and it looked kind of like a little house 
And once we've got that, we're going to take this one here. And just the top flap, we're going to take this tip and we're going to put it to this tip. So right up there, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So you should have two corners and then you should have a little flap in the middle. And once you've got that, we're going to flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. So just like this. And up to the corner, just like that. So once you've got that, we're going to fold this one back to the inside here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to flip it over so we have a nice flat surface here. And we're going to fold into the center, push down nice and tight. And then we can put it back where it was. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to fold this over and then push this to the back. And then fold it over just like that. So on the front side you should have really narrow. And on the back side it's going to still look like this. And we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to do this. And we're going to fold into the center just like that. And fold it back towards itself. So you see how it's nice lined up, everything's matching. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. So again, into the center. Push down, nice tight creases as always. And then we're going to fold it back to the other side. So just like that. So we've got two flaps on either side. This is how we make sure it's always even. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold this little flap here up as far as it'll let you go. We don't want to go past, we don't want to rip anything, so all it's going to do is fold like this. And then we're going to unfold it just a little bit, and we're going to take this flap and just pull. As soon as we pull it away, this one wants to lift, and we're going to let it lift. And as we pull this one, it goes into its own little triangle, just like that, and then push it down. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, pull this one out, push this up, and just kind of gently fold it down into a nice little triangle. Now we're going to fold it over. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. So up like that. Give it a little bit of loose, and then pull this one out. Flip that one up, and voila. I'm going to pull this one down. And last step, push that up, and all done. So that's the first one, and make sure you know which one is the biggest one, because as we build it, each individual unit gets a little bit smaller, and a little bit smaller, and a little bit smaller. So then at the end of it, it kind of shapes into a little, uh, like a little point. Alright, so that's number one. Number two... What we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of paper and we need to cut a little bit off of it, but not too much. So the easiest way to make a square without having to cut a little bit off of each of these corners, all we have to do is one cut. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it into a triangle and making sure our corners are all matched up. We're going to make sure it's nice and folded. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it again into a smaller triangle. Just like that. Now when we cut, all four edges are going to get cut at the exact same time. But all we have to do is cut once. So it's super easy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my uh, Omni Grid here. If you have one of these, it's great. If not, just a standard ruler. And what we're going to do is, because one inch is cut into eight little centimeters, we're going to take one of those centimeters worth of paper off. And I'm going to use a marker for my visual guide, but also for whoever's watching, just so you can kind of see. So I'm going to use this because it's a lot easier to use. And I'm going to take it, put it over top. Actually, I'm 
be easier to do this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. And I have it flush up against the side here. And I'm going to take my big ruler here. And I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit more just so you can hopefully see what I'm doing here. So all I'm doing is making sure that I only take off one little line of my inch. So I've got my mark there and my mark here and I've got my ruler so I'm going to go one all the way across and I make my line and voila. So we're only taking off what's called one eighth of an inch so basically one centimeter. And because I did it on the open side, right, always make sure it's on the open side here. That's the mark I'm cutting. So as soon as I cut this, it'll cut all four corners, all four pieces of paper. I'm just going to bring my camera up again. It's on a, on a stand, so. Alright, so I've got my scissors, I've got my piece of paper, and I'm going to cut very carefully because I want to keep it nice and straight making sure I hold all four pieces together nice and tight so they don't move and I'm going to cut along that line and if your kids at home that don't want to cut it you can always ask mom or dad and they can help you out with that as well so once I've got my cut We can move that aside, put it in the garbage later. And now that I've cut this side, all four of these sides have now been cut, and it's that much smaller. All right. So, camera up a little bit more. All right. So we're gonna put my scissors away. Put my stuff out. And we're going to start on the second one. So because it's a little bit smaller, we do the same things. But it's because it's a little bit smaller, it's actually going to fit inside the one we just built, which is nice and big. So the first thing we're going to do is fold it into a rectangle. And then we're going to fold it in half into a square. And the fun thing about origami is, if you haven't figured it out, you can learn all sorts of shape names. And whatever you do to one side, you always do to the other, so everything is equal. So when you're making squares and triangles, they're always equal. Alright, so you've got your square, and we're going to make it into a triangle. So pushing this open and folding it straight down so everything's aligned. And then again, making sure we have nice tight crease. And we're going to flip it over, and we're going to just fold this back so that it will stand on its own, just like that. So all that does is give us a nice tight crease. And we're going to open this flap up again. And always making sure that these two match. Don't let those fall sideways, because sometimes they'll move. So you got to hold everything, and then push. Give it a nice tight crease. So there we go. We've got our triangle. We're going to take this tip here and we're going to go up to the top just like on the last one. And fold down. Nice tight crease. Same thing to the other side. So you want everything lined up to the tip here. You don't want to go over. And we're going to flip it. We're going to do the same thing. To these two so same thing up to the tip nice tight and then we're going to do the same thing on this side and you should have all four of these flaps pointing north pointing up and we're going to make these triangles into small squares just like last time so we're going to do a big open mouth down into the tip and squish make sure they're nice and tight creases and we're going to do the same thing here so fold Squish down, and voila. Just like that. 
Once we do that, we're going to flip it over. We're going to do the same thing to the other side, just like that. Nice tight creases. And last one, right there. There we go. So you should have a funny looking little house. And we're going to take the top of this and we're going to fold it up into the triangle here. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing. So almost always we do the same thing to everything on one side, we do to the other. So once you've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this one over again, just like this. So we have a nice flat surface to work with. And we're going to pull this one into the center and fold it in just to the center there. And then we're going to fold that back. And we're going to take this side and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And we're going to fold it all the way in to the center again. And fold it back over this direction. And we're going to flip it over. Same thing. So we're going to push this over here. We've got flat surface with one flap. And we're going to fold this one in to the center here. And then we can push this one back so everything's nice and lined up. And we're going to do the same thing to the last one. So there we go. Into the center. Just like that. And then we're going to fold it back over. So always when you do all those moves, make sure that you've got two on either side. Make sure everything's equal. Because sometimes you forget to move a flap and you've got three on one side. So it looks kind of funny. And we're going to do the last step here. So fold this up. Fold it down a little bit. Pull this out and bring it into a triangle. And again with this side. Again, bring it into a triangle just like that. And flip it over. Same thing. Last move. One, two, and three. Just like that. So it doesn't look very much smaller than this one, but it is. A little bit smaller and then what's gonna happen is they're all gonna get stacked together and on Wednesday we'll finish it up hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you guys on the next one